Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. How about you, Yaki? Good evening. Hi, hi, how are you, teacher? I'm good. And you? I'm so so. Why? Uh, because um, my uh, hair, uh, me duele. <laughs> okay, so your head hurts. Ah, okay. Okay, so we are going to continue studying that today, so don't worry about it. Hi, good evening for the ones that are just joining. I'm sorry, Graciela, but I can barely hear you. Okay. Now? Mm, a little, a little bit. I have a problem with my microphone. Ah, I understand. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you, but a little bit. Slow. Okay. Okay, so we are going to begin. If you remember, yesterday we were studying, well, we made a review of the parts of the body, and also we were studying some common illnesses or how to say how you feel. For example, Jackie was saying that her head hurts. Jackie nos comentaba, ¿verdad? Que ahorita a ella le duele la cabeza. Que la enfermedad que ella tiene, o el, que sería dolor de cabeza, ¿cómo lo decimos en inglés? Let's see if you remember. Headache. Okay, thank you, Jaime, headache. So Jackie has a headache. So if I say to you, my stomach, hurts. What do I have? Yes? A stomach cake. Okay, stomach cake. Thank you, Graciela. You are welcome. Okay. Okay, so we will continue with that today. If you remember yesterday, you were asking the difference between hurt and pain, right? Uh, and I was explaining to you that pain is a noun. Pain is el sustantivo, dolor, okay? And hurt is un verbo que significa doler. So if I say my head hurts, me duele la cabeza, yo voy a asociar lo que es el dolor de cabeza, ¿verdad? Con lo que es la, la dolencia. In this case, headache. Now, if I say, my ear hurts, me duele el oído, el nombre de esa dolencia, ¿cuál es? Eh. I have a, a ear, uh, ear pain. Ear pain or, or is there any other word? No. I just send it to the chat. Okay, so if I'm suffering from my ear, if I feel pain in my ear, I have a earache. My okay. ears hurt? Yeah, you can say, my ear hurts. Me duele el oído. O sea, el, el hurt está actuando 
como lo que es el verbo doler, ¿ok? Pero si yo digo, I have a pain, tengo un dolor en mi oído. Ahí pain está actuando como sustantivo, dolor, ¿ok? But if I say, my ear hurts, ahí hurts está actuando como verbo. En este caso, ¿qué es? Duele, ¿ok? The same is going to happen with headache. Stomach ache, uh, back ache. En el caso que me duele la espalda, for example, I can say, my back hurts. I'm using the, the noun, the part of the body, and the verb that is hurts. Or I can say, I feel pain on my back. Siento dolor en la espalda. I feel pain. Something that we were studying yesterday. That we can use, I have plus a noun, or I feel Plus, what else? Do you remember? Plus an adjective, okay? That's something that we studied yesterday. So if I'm going to be using have, I'm going to use it plus a noun, okay? I have a headache, or I have a backache. But if I'm going to use the verb feel, I can say, I feel terrible, okay? Is that clear for you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes? Teacher. Yes? Excuse me, uh, what, what sentences is a correct? Uh, Cuando decimos que me duele la cabeza, así como my heart hurt, o, o decir el nombre de la, del dolor. Ok, give me just a few seconds. So you're telling us, my head hurts. That's the sentence. Ok, it's correct. We have there the subject that is my head, and then we have the verb that is hurt. But if you want to say that you're sick, so you can say, I have a headache. Okay, like this. And both are correct. Las dos están correctas. La única forma en la que va cambiando es que en una estoy usando lo que es el nombre de la enfermedad, por decirlo así, que es dolor de cabeza. Y en la otra solamente estoy diciendo, estoy usando lo que es el verbo hurt. My head hurts. ¿Ok? Pueda que sea dolor de cabeza o que sea por migraña o que sea otra cosa. Y en cambio acá, en la segunda oración que les mandé, ya estoy siendo más específico. Estoy diciendo que es por el dolor de cabeza o que tengo dolor de cabeza. ¿Ok? But okay, thank you. Are correct. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm late, but I had a question. <laughs> okay. Um, how can I say in English uh, "dolor de estómago"? I don't know if uh, stomach ache. Stomach cake. A stomach cake. Yes. Okay, but what is the? O sea, cómo se tiene que decir exactamente, teacher? Porque yo quisiera decir me duele el estómago. Okay, you can say, I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Porque ahí me está diciendo que tiene dolor de estómago. Diferente es que me dijera, me duele el estómago. Okay. Cuando ustedes han comido algo, if you have eaten something and then suddenly you start like, oh, my stomach hurts. Uh, I think that I'm, that I have diarrhea, for example. O sea, comieron algo y les empieza a doler ahí. So, o sea, como que, oh, uh, I think I have diarrhea. Uh, okay. Y estamos hablando de lo que es la enfermedad, diarrhea. Okay. Or you can say, I have a stomach ache. Okay. Es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? En una estoy diciendo que el estómago me duele. El sustantivo o el sujeto es el estómago. Y el verbo duele, ¿ok? Ya en la otra oración yo diría, tengo 
dolor de estómago. ¿Ok? El, como el, en español, ¿verdad? Nosotros podemos omitir lo que es el sujeto. El verbo es tengo, o sea, tener. Y de ahí tengo lo que es el complemento o el... Yeah, I have the complement that is stomach. Ok. Yes. Another question. En todo caso, el, el feel sería solo para referirse a, al verbo sentir, teacher. Sí. O sea, es como que yo les dijera, me siento mal, me siento Correct. mareada. For example, I feel sick to my stomach. I feel sick to, uh, I feel sorry, sick. my bad. Uh, I feel sick to my stomach, for example. Mm, okay, the first part is correct. I feel Me sick. Mal del estómago. I feel sick to my stomach. Mm, is it to my stomach? No. No sé si lo pronuncio bien. Stomach. Okay, stomach. Ah, I feel okay. sick. I feel sick. Okay. Ahí estamos bien. Pero ya con I la siguiente sick. oración o con lo que usted quiere decir, este, nos hace falta quizás formular un poquito mejor. I feel sick. Okay. My stomach hurts. That's what you can say. My stomach hurts. Or you can say I have a stomach ache. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, then, teacher, then I can say, I feel sick, my stomach, my stomach is hurt. My stomach hurts. Hurts. Yes. Only hurts. Ok. Thanks. You're welcome. Do you have another question? No? Okay. So I'm, I'm going to be asking you questions, but we are going to be working in groups as well. Okay, so we are going to continue because we need to move and we're going to the part on the platform that is about common education. Okay, and let me just play the information we have. Give me a few seconds. Okay, so here we have common medication. I'm going to play the video and please let me know if you can listen. Díganme si escuchan o no, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. No se escucha. Yes, just no wait. listen, teacher. Okay, give me a few seconds. And can you listen now? No, no se yes. oye, teacher. Okay. Okay, there we go. Medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. I see the chair. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, Whenever I have a headache, 
I take aspirin whenever I have a cold I take give as many examples as you can look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums okay so there you could see that we have some common medication let's see what was the first one Yes. Can you listen to me? Uh, teacher, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the question? Yeah, what was the first medicine that was mentioned on the video? I'm not sure if I hear, uh, pardon. Antacid. Okay, thank you. And then we have? Cold pills or no? <laughs> okay, yeah, we have cold pills too. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Aspirin. Okay, uh, be careful with pronunciation. For this one is muscle cream. Okay. Muscle cream. Yes, muscle, muscle cream. cream. Muscle cream. Yes. Okay. So what is the meaning in Spanish, teacher? Como crema muscular. Crema muscular. Okay. Así como nosotros tenemos cuáles? El cofal, creo yo que es una. Sí, la, do, cold la cream. Doblo, cream. El metilo. Ah. Ok, ya. Yeah. El trivión en un guento. <risa> sí, yo honestamente de medicina no sé mucho porque. I hate to take pills. Uh, if I get sick, I don't go to the doctor. I just wait to see what happens. If I get healthy again or if I'm going to die, I, I don't care. But I don't go to the doctor and I don't take medicine. I really hate that. So, sorry. Okay. So, let's listen one more time because we are going to be working on this right now. Okay. That's it. Okay. Muscle cream. Okay, give me a few seconds. Acid. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, so give me just a few seconds. In the meantime, can you tell me what do you take when you have a headache? If I have a headache, I take an aspirin. Okay, thank you, Graciela. And Jackie, what about you? I'm sorry, teacher. No, I'm not listening. What do you take when you have a headache? Um, aspirin. Okay. And um, Jaime Mauricio, what do you take when you have a stomach ache? Uh, I take a uh, antiacid. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Let me see if now we can play it. Vacations. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Okay. I would like for you to describe what you think whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take 
aspirin. Whenever. Okay, so that's what we are going to be doing right now. Um, you are going to be describing the type of medications you take when you feel sick, okay? And, give me a few seconds, we are going to be working in groups. Um, I'm going to be sending to you um, some illnesses so you can work on that, okay? So now let me just go ahead and start making the breakup rooms. Okay. So there we go. Vaya, está bien. Hay que esperar a ver qué dice la teacher. Ajá, sí. Hi. ¿Qué pasó? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, how are you? Necesitamos eh, I la help. De los nombres de medicina. Ah, ok. Veamos. ¿Cuáles? Eh, la, que, la imagen que usted estaba compartiendo en el... ¿Dónde están los medicamentos, video? teacher? Ajá. Okay, so let me see if I can share it right now with you. Okay, I'm going here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I sent to the chat uh, some illnesses. Les he enviado ahí al chat lo que son algunas enfermedades, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No sé si las vieron ya. No, yo no tengo en el chat, no tengo. Um, okay, because the ones that I wrote are headache, stomachache, backache, fever, and diarrhea. Ah, en el del grupo. Ah, sí. ok. Sí, en el Hasta chat de, de, grupo una, de aquí de Zoom. Diarrhea. Ajá, sí, sí. Eh, la, la última error de, de dedito, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Ok. Diarrhea. Hi, Krishna. Bueno, pues, ahora sí ya podemos iniciar, ¿verdad? Ya tenemos Ajá, la, sí. La ok. So Exacto. I'm, ok, gracias, teacher. A ustedes. Voy a regresar dentro de unos segundos. Ok. Ok. Ok.
Hi, ¿qué pasó aquí? Hola, este, Beatriz no tiene micrófono, bueno, está mal el de salud. Y eh, el otro señor, no sé, creo que se le cayó el internet. Ok, so, let's practice, Christopher. Tell me, um, what do you take when you have fever? When I have fever, uh, I take acetaminophen. Ok, excellent. Um, ok, Beatriz dice que sí tiene complicaciones, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, yeah. So sorry for that. It's no problem. <laughs> yeah. Sí, como entré y vi que todo en silencio. So I was like, what's happening? What's going on here? Ok. Yes. So let's continue, Christopher. Um, what about... Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, and what do you do when you have a backache? When I have a backache, I use a muscle cream or mm. I take a pill for pain, for example, a uh, orphanaflex. Okay. Excellent. Just the pronunciation of muscle. Okay. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. E no es muscle. No, muscle. Muscle cream. Why? That's the way. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you're going to find that in English there are several words that are not pronounced as they are written. Hay varias palabras que no se pronuncian así como están escritas, ¿verdad? Entonces, es de irse las aprendiendo. And that is one, muscle. Mansukri. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Josué Mauricio, can you hear me? Okay, I think that he cannot. Creo que no puede. Apoy ya vamos a hacer algo más. So, okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Espérame, ajá, el intestino. Colitis, papay. Pero colitis, quizá. Intestino, espérame, quiero ver. Intestine. When Inte do you have a intestine? Intestine. Es, oí, oí. No sé si escuchas. Oí. Yeah. Intestine. Intestine. Ajá, intestine. Uh, are you sure about it? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Yeah, I'm just listening to you. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm shaking in traductor. <laughs> okay. And, and what is the, the pronunciation, teacher? Text. Por intestino. Uh huh, yes. Intestine. Intestine. Yes. Intestino largo? Uh, that is large intestine. Large intestine. Pero And large no es como grande, no. Sí, bueno, de, de o largo. Largo. Uh, largo. Oh, entiendo. Intestine large. No, large intestine. Large, large intestine. intestine. Yes. I'm sorry. And small intestine. Small intestine, que es yes. pequeño, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, teacher, thank you. I'm You're sorry, welcome. Sara. <laughs> sí, pero ¿cuál era la pregunta? ¿Qué, qué hacen cuando eh, tienen intestinos? O sea, when, uh, uh, when do you have in, eh, wa, wa, when, when you have, when you have, teacher, large intestine? 
que tomas cuando te duele el intestino largo? Um, ok. Colitis. Vaya, pero en ese caso tienen que formular mejor la pregunta, porque yo entiendo que le está preguntando que qué hace. ¿Qué toma? O, ok, ¿qué toma cuando tiene intestino largo? O sea, todos tenemos intestinos. No, duele, duele. Ok. Sí, so, doler. Y si, mire, disculpe, disculpe, teacher, no sé si podría redactarse la pregunta. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunté a Sara, eh, what do you take when you had body pain? No sé si estaría bien redactado. Yes. Entonces podría ser similar como la pregunta que me podría hacer a mí con mi intestino. Solo que tendría que mencionar que si me duele, ¿verdad? Yeah. So, for example, uh, what do you take when your intestine hurts, for example? Mm. Cuando le duele el intestino. Ok. In that case, you are making the question in a different way, but it is understandable. O sea, se da a entender. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay so... Sarah, let's ask me again the question, please. Okay, pero en este caso, el, el, el when, when you, when you how, Me, me, falta, me falta el verbo doler. Ok. Lo que hay que hacer acá es formular bien la pregunta. So, you are asking, what do you take when you, uh, when you have stomachache, for example? Ok. What do you take when you have stomachache? Or I can also ask, what do you take when you have fever? Okay. Okay, teacher. What do you what do you what do you take? What stomachs? I take like a seltzer. <laughs> okay. ¿Y está bien redactada, teacher? Um, vaya, es de ir formulando bien la pregunta. Este, al chat les he mandado unos ejemplos. No sé si los logran ver. Ahorita, teacher. teacher. Ya. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I can see the example, teacher. Ok, yeah, you can see that I'm starting with the WH word. Then we have the auxiliary because we're talking in simple present. Then we have subject, verb, and then complement. What do you take when you have stomach ache? Or what do you take when you have fever? Or, fever. yes, or what do you take when your stomach hurts? Mm. That would be another way to ask for the medication, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No, no, está, no está en el grupo, teacher. Ah, eh, o sea, el... sí, lo siento. Es que estoy en el chat de Zoom. No en el de ah, okay, WhatsApp. Okay. Perdón, sí, perdón, es en el, en el de Zoom. Okay. What okay. do you take when you have a stomach? Okay. What stomach cake. Stomach cake. What do you okay. take when you have fever? What do you take when you stomach... Hurts. Hurts. Okay. Hurts. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Miss Colfield. Colfields. Ajá, son como una ah. cápsula, ¿verdad? Colfields ¿Sí? es el otro. Pero el otro, el que dice cold, cold dropped, algo así. El botecito. Ajá. Ice. Ice. Drops, ah, son gotas para los ojos. Uh -huh. Ice drops. Ah, son las gotas. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. ice drop. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, no es I, I drop. I drop. Uh -huh. I Dios. drop. No, puniti blue. No, puniti blue. Ok, I'm listening to you. ¿Cómo vamos acá en este grupo? 
Ah, vamos, en súper fecha. chévere. <risa> súper, súper chévere, que ya no les escucho practicar. Y es que ya practicamos <risa> todos, teacher. Ah, ok. Excelente. Ya descubrimos, ya descubrimos que se dice I have o se dice I bought. I have o? I, I bought. take. I no. take para tomar. Para tomar. I, ajá, I, I take. I put para para poner, aplicar ah, para okay. poner I put muscle cream ajá ajá y an apple para aplicarse las gotas apply apply ajá para aplicarse las gotas cuando le dele la vista a uno okay or you can also say I use uso I ah, use. también ajá I uh, use uh -huh. I okay. use I drop. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, bueno, entonces dice que ya practicaron. Regresamos todos a la sí. sesión principal. Sí. Okay. Okay, so I was listening to to all of you and I can see that, yes, you're doing a great job. So just as a review, what we are going to do is the following. Um, one of you is going to be asking to any of your classmates the questions that you are practicing and the other person is going to answer. So for example, if I ask Graciela, I can ask, Graciela, what do you take when you have fever? When I have a fever, I take um, acetaminophen. acetaminophen. Okay, thank you. Something like that. Yes, excellent. Okay, so Graciela, now make a question to any of your classmates. Okay, uh, what do you take Sarita Quintanilla, when you are stomachache. When? You have, have stomachache. Okay, excellent. I, I, I take, I take antiacid. Okay, thank you. Sarita, now you make a question to another classmate. Uh, Krishna. Uh, okay. A Krishna, okay. este, I have, I have a, a muscle, or okay. I have hand, okay. I hold hand. Can you make the question again, please? Sarita, puede I reformular la, la pregunta? Stay. La pregunta. Sí, por favor. A ver. Este... Le puedo decir eh, si tengo, eh, si me duele la mano, I, I hold hand. Este, o oh, que me puedo, no, no, no sé cómo formulársela bien para que ya me entiendan. Ya, yo sé que ya más o menos me entendió, pero para hacerle la pregunta. Ok, um, aquí en el chat de Zoom les envié unos ejemplos. En el chat de Zoom, no se vayan al de WhatsApp porque ahí sí les quedó mal. Estoy más pendiente acá de, de, de Zoom que del teléfono. Ok, so for example, you can see that says, what do you take when you have stomach ache? Ok, uh -huh. or what do you take when you have fever, yes? No se ve lo que las preguntas que escribió en el chat. En el verdad? chat no nos aparecen. Ah, pero se supone que se las envía a todos. Va, ahorita se las vuelvo a enviar. Bueno, en Zoom estamos. Sí. Ok. 
en el chat de Zoom. Ah, este, le puedo preguntar, what do I take? Okay. Uh, I uh, hurt hand. When my hand hurts. Ah, ah when, when well, my, mm -hmm. my hair hurt. My hand hurts. Uh -huh. Hurt. Okay. Y yo contestaría. Um, you have, I put, que era para ponerse. Uh -huh. music cream. No, muscle. 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 Cream. Muscle. Cream. Okay. 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 But teacher. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Jackie. It is a correct. Uh, for example, uh, what do you take for the foot hole? Foot hole. What do you take for? For the foot hurt. For the foot hurt. Mm. Ajá, como dolor de pie. Okay. What do you take when? For the ah, when, when. Yeah. When your foot hurts. Okay. Okay. And then you can answer, when my foot hurts, I take, and then you say the name of the medicine, or if you use a cream or something different, then you say what that is, okay? Okay, uh, Krishna, now you make a question to another person. Okay. Vamos a ver a quién se la pregunto. A Josué. Josué Mauricio. Ok. Ok. Right. Mm. What do you take when you have 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 that shit. Heading. Heading. Okay. Okay. I take ibuprofen. Okay. Thank you. And now you, Mauricio, yes. make the last question to another person. Okay. Um. Jackie. What? Okay. What do you take? Hand pain. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, no, la, la última parte no la entendí. Can you repeat the question, Josué Mauricio, okay. please? What do you take? Hand pain. When your hand or when you feel pain, um, I don't understand the teacher. Okay, so the way or the question that he wants to ask is what, I'm going to send it to the chat here in Zoom, okay? What okay. do you take? when you feel pain in your hand or when your hand hurts okay ah okay that's the question Okay, I, I, ahorita, I put muscle, 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 muscle cream. Okay. Okay. 
okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Um, on this section, can you tell me if that's clear or if you still have questions for medications? Teacher, I just have a question. Yes. Uh, in the question, what do you take when you feel pain? I don't know if, if I can use on. Okay, when you feel pain on your hand, yes. Ajá, so, ajá. No sé si es de la verdadera manera es correcta, Tiche, por ahí le preguntaba. Um, las preposiciones de lugar es sí. algo que vamos a estar estudiando ya el día de mañana. Ok, pero sí, en este caso que estamos hablando de lo que es la mano, what do you think it would be better or should be better? In or I on? I think on because in, I remember that the last, the, I don't know, how can I say, el teacher anterior, uh -huh. uh, he told me that is on when we use or when we talking about, uh, I don't know, como del cuerpo. And when we talking about a place, we can, we can use in, but I'm not sure about it. Um, okay. Okay. And or, maybe, the, or maybe tomorrow you can explain better. <laughs> no, because we're talking about a part of the body. Um, como estamos hablando, verdad? Y es la mano, el dolor donde lo sentimos. Interior o exterior? Interior. Okay. Entonces usaría in o usaría on. On. On es sobre. Sobre. In. Oh, entiendo. And in. Yes. And that's, that's the difference. Okay, so for example, let me see. I'm going to use this little toy. Okay, and let me see what else I have here. Okay. I have this cup. So I can say that this little toy is on a cup. But mm -hmm. now I can say that it is in, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. On, porque está sobre. In, porque está dentro, okay? Okay, teacher, that's the difference. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Y si nosotros elegimos out, no es correcto. Out es afuera. Ajá. Ve, pero ¿cómo sería? O sea, por ejemplo, lo que decía el compañero, nosotros no decimos int, sino que, por ejemplo, sustituimos in por out. Afuera de la mano. Outside. Uh -huh. You can use outside my hand. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero fuera de la mano, ¿qué es lo que le ha pasado? Me duele. O sea, como decir me duele, pero no me duele dentro de la mano, sino afuera de la mano. Uh, ok. So, we can say that you burn. Es decir, no las articulaciones, sino así, como superficial. Como que, digamos, se quemó y le duele. Ajá. Ok. Ajá. Ajá. Pero si es una quemada, you can use this word that is burn, que es quemadura. Y si estamos hablando del dolor, ahí sí puedo usar lo que es el verbo, regresamos con lo que es hurts. My hand hurts. Ah, okay. Me duele okay. la mano. Okay. okay. Why do you why do you feel pain? Ah, because I burned. Porque me quemé. Okay, you can say because I burned myself. Me quemé a mí misma. Okay. Okay. Dale pasada. Okay. okay. What's your question? 
if I want to say that I use uh, muscle cream, I can say when I feel a pain on my hand, I use muscle cream. Is that right? When I feel or whenever I feel pain. Whenever I feel pain in my hand, I use muscle cream. Is that muscle right? cream, yes. The bear, the bear, the bear use. Is that right in this case? The the when or whenever? No. If, uh, let me see. I want to use the verb use. Ah. I don't know if you are, if, uh, okay. if you understand. Yes. Is that okay. right? Okay. Yeah, you can say I o sea, use. Como... Yo uso. I put. También pongo. That. Okay. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. because it's not something that you're going to take. No es algo que se lo van a tomar o que se lo van a... Yes, that's ah, correct. I, I got your right. point. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, in that case, because that's you are right. you are um, applying, use you can also use that head. word, apply. Pueden usar también esta palabra que es aplicar. Apply. Okay, I apply... Um, ¿Qué crema decían? Disculpen, para el dolor muscular. Yeah. Ah, ¿Cofal? ¿Cofal? Como a las 8, el lunes tal vez sí. Okay. ¿Crema helada? ¿Crema helada? Hall. Cream. Cream. Hall. Cream. Hall. Cream. Hall. Cream. Hall. Cream. Hall. Cream. Y para referirse a crema de... ¿Para quemaduras, teacher? Ah, ok. Give me just a few seconds. We're talking about creams. Ok, just give me a few seconds and I'll let you know what is the name for that. Ok. Okay, give me a few seconds. I'm just checking that. Okay, I'm working on that. Okay, give me a few seconds. But which type of burns? ¿Qué tipo de, de quemadura? De quemadura... De, eh, me quemé en la cocina con el vapor o con fuego vivo, no sé. Una quemadura... Okay. Teacher, uh, with oil. With oil? Okay. For example, teacher... Yeah, I'm just looking at that. Teacher, I can say the name of the product or for yeah, example, you, either cortisone or chemody. Yeah, you can say the name of the product. Some of them were saying ibuprofen, for example, or copal. Um, what else? Um, sorry, I'm really bad at this, the, these medicines, honestly. Como les decía, o sea, yo me enfermo y yo no voy al doctor, yo espero a una de dos. Curarme así, sí, por la naturaleza, ¿verdad? O, o morir, una de dos, ¿ok? Yeah, but I really, I really hate going to the doctor, honestly. Unlike like you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, so if I got sick, um, I'm not going to take any pills. I'm not going to take any syrup. No. No, even natural, ni siquiera de las naturales, de los remedios caseros, no. Okay, ¿Por qué really no, teacher? It. ¿Por qué no, teacher? Because I don't like that, honestly. I, I really no. hate that. No. 
Ya cuando de plano el dolor es así como que ni modo, ¿verdad? And because uh, someone is pushing you or telling you, you have to drink this, you have to do this. And uh, in that way, it's like, okay, I'll do it. But de lo contrario, no. O sea, que usted es de las personas que piensa de que los dolores o las enfermedades son psicológicas. Um, en punto, sí. Ah, ok. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I know. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok, y con la crema para quemaduras, you can say burning cream. Ah, oxide cream. Sin cream. Oxide cream. Wow. Uh, sí, quizás por lo mismo que casi no me enfermo de medicina, yo no sé mucho y veo aquí los nombres, me quedo, ¿qué es eso? <risa> yeah. Honestly, miren, a mí cuando me dicen dolor muscular, el único que se me viene a la mente es el famoso marihuanol que se suben a vender. No, el, el marihuanol. Yeah, the one that people are selling on the buses or... <risa> In, in, in any of those places, right? Es la único. clave, teacher, para no enfermarme. <laughs> um, <laughs> sleep a lot. That's one. <laughs> don't stress. No se estresen. Don't, ho yeah. don't hurry. We, we have don't, don't, be <laughs> don't worry. Be happy. Yes. Um, or another <laughs> one that I really like a lot. And probably you know is Hakuna Matata. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's, matata, that's yeah, basically yeah. the key. Okay. Yeah. Esa es la clave de todo. Hakuna Matata. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Interest, interesting. Y ahí van a ver que no se van a estar enfermando cada rato. Sí, porque hasta ahorita. With the pandemic situation, uh, thanks to God, I haven't gotten sick hasta el momento, stay, ¿verdad? Más con la stay, pandemia. Gracias a Dios que no me he enfermado. Entonces, como que, ¿qué más pedir? Yes, stay home. Stay, yeah. stay home. Okay. Um, okay. We're almost finishing, so I need you to tell me if there are other questions that you may have. No. Teacher. Yes. I haven't received and, uh, uh, the email. Para agregarme yeah. al grupo. Mire, yo he preguntado, inclusive lo reporté y me pidieron su número de teléfono, pero no lo tengo. Y recuerdo que le había dicho a usted que me lo mandara así en un mensaje aquí en privado, aquí por Zoom, ah. okay, para teacher. poderlo agregar. Permítame, teacher, ahorita se lo envío. Sí, va. permítame, déjenme anotarlo también porque media vez termine la, la reunión que... No guarda la, la información. Ya estuvo, dicho. Ok, permítame. Solo lo anoto. Ok. Ok, thank you. I got it. Bye. Hoy sí ya lo tengo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, antes de dejarlos ir, ¿alguna otra duda o está todo claro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, everything is clear, teacher. Okay. It's clear. Okay, vaya. Comencemos o sigamos avanzando en las secciones, ¿verdad? Que mañana vamos ya con la sección 3, que vamos a estar estudiando lo que son las preposiciones y cómo dar direcciones. Ok, y okay. jueves tenemos lo que es el midterm, ok. Ya, ya, ya vamos adelante. Ok, yeah. so that's going to okay, be teacher. all for today. Thank you for coming and see you tomorrow. Ok, see you. Good Bye, night, teacher. Bye, good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.